Good morning and welcome to DCC Kids Allotment. It's the 29th of December, a couple of days before New Year's. Hope you've all had a good Christmas. I certainly have. I'm um, just going to show you a couple of things uh, today that have been happening at Plot. Um, before we get on to talking about what's coming up in 2020 on our channel, learning uh, uh, with new videos with Makaton, uh, which is a uh, uh, speaking you know with your hands and we're looking forward to doing that so I'm just going to show you a couple of things that's really impressed me at allotment over win well start of the winter as we move more into it but how well it's working so I'm just going to show you the first thing is that the no dig plot that's one we got it I'm very 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 impressed with this this is amazing it's, um, <coughs> Excuse the wind, it's very, very windy. But not a single weed on this plot, which is just absolutely amazing um, when you compare it to some of the others that we've not done as a no dig. I mean, this one's been turned quite a lot, so there's not much on it. But just for a moment, if you look at this, I mean, this has just been left, and as you can see, they're all come through weeds. So there is an advantage to having an onion. Again, this is another no dig plot that just needs uh, compost on it. Um, again, we've got another one here. But this one should be ready for this year. So I'm really, really looking forward to using this one. This one has been composted in the pot like I said before I've dug two foot down membraned it all and then we just chucked everything in the bed scraps the, the guinea pig bedding the cardboard just kept turning it and it is you know the compost under there you can't see it right well but look at that it's breaking down beautifully using it so I'm really really looking forward to using that I think there's a bit of a between the freezing. But I've been so impressed with this. It is unreal. Definitely worth doing. Definitely uh, gonna shut more plots down I think over the summer. Uh, and do another, another few. Because I think this plot there and this plot are gonna shut down over the summer. And again dig probably not two foot down maybe just a foot down and then and then do the same process as I did with that one there but definitely going to do it because this, this is this is unbelievable the real test of being in uh, summertime when the weeds come through but it's that much cardboard that much compost on it uh, you know you, you get odd weed but not like that one over there I mean, this is another one. This is full of mare's tail. We've got to do something with this. But as you can see, you know, you have to come up and you have to keep turning it. I'm not bothering to turn this plot at all because it's going to get covered like that one. And we're going to do something with that. Um, as you can see, rhubarb, you know, it's got grass coming through it. it it's just hard to... to to keep it down but that's manageable see that's covered and then it said all wood chippings put on it but that's full of maize tail underneath but that's what's going to happen with this plot we're just going to cover this one and hopefully that's, <laughs> that's going to be a pond at some point I hope I'm, uh, I'm planning it uh, I've just got to be it's all this here that just does my head in next door it's just horrendous they don't look after it you can see anyway it's a dump but that's just my own opinion um so yeah you know it's a lot. i've not really had to keep on top of plots too much only this one this one's gonna get dug over again but only this one and this one this one and this one uh, what I've had to turn, these two are going to be shut down and we're going to 
do this. The reason I'm shutting them down in the summer, I'm going to fill them in the summer, is because when they've got the sheeting on and the heat will break everything down a lot quicker. Uh, so we might be able to use it for the garlic in the winter. So, you know, we'll see. We're not, we'll see how it goes. Just a quick thing, we split this down as well. So we've got this here, put a path in there now. Uh, and we've got our extension that looks like a bar to the shed. So that's that's looking good, that's nice. Just give a little quick picture of it, there you go, look. Got a path down, but this is what it looks like, it's not special. We've got the table there where we're gonna build round so we can put all seedlings in there. And then just a sitting area for me when it's a bit raining. good this bit not sure what we're going to do with this bit yet because we're going to get the gutter in on top of there but probably some plants going in there maybe a flower bed in that one compost has got to move got to find a home for that because i had a, an issue with a, a rat to uh, into the composter um, but that is the horse manure bay call it that's another composter there which is composting down and this is a bin that I required that was given to me um, and that is a, a, a portable compost that I'm calling it show you a portable composter so it's got all drilled holes in the side and then we just fill it and again summer comes keep watering it tip it out once, turn it, leave it in there, the heat in there will be immense and that will break down, as soon as summer gets here that will break down and be ready to use. So again, we'll be able to use that on on, on this one and this one, you know, just to get some get some uh, good, good compost on it. In this bay we have, <coughs> excuse me, elephant garlic, uh, when that comes out in June, July, when that comes out in June or July, there'll be another piece of wood going across there, and that's going to begin, be, then going to be used as another no dig bed. We're going to cover it again with cardboard and paper, and and just keep building it up and up and up. And that's what we'll do with that. One, we'll keep building it up and up and up, so all sides are going to have to be raised. But you know, it'll just keep. The workload down i mean i do love a good dig so i'm not going to do every plot no dig because i love i love a good dig uh, so the elephant garlic in there and then in this one we've got elephant garlic again uh, and in this side we've got dutch red garlic which has come a bit early so if that survives i'll be surprised it might do it might not do that's how it should be there and that's what it's looking like so there's a big difference um, but we will see just a little tour you know it's again like I said you've seen a lot of the allotment recently but we've been we've had a tough middle of the year everything went well for us DCC wise uh, and then like September time we were starting to launch the cut clubs which didn't manage to get off not for our own fault for own bad advice so we, we're still pushing ahead with that when that's going to happen we, we, st we were open for january but we're not sure about that yet uh, you know somehow we'll, we'll get it going it's just a lot of work and uh, it takes a lot of time and we both just started new jobs as well so what we want to do is we want to get back to videos because we've not done many but when I get back to videos with the allotment and with the cooking especially with the cooking um, because we enjoy that a lot and, and the cook clubs are cool uh, but they will come that's the thing they will come I think come uh, June, July, 
when we've done what we've done with, with the schools, I think we're going to call that a day. We've enjoyed that. We've been into nurseries and schools, we've enjoyed that. But if we want the cup clubs, we have to focus more on, on that than trying to do too much at once. So that's just that bit of advice for that. But yeah, I, you know, I was hoping to be joined this morning, but no one's decided to come with me, so I'm on my own. So today is my job today for an hour. We're going to get in this polytunnel and we are going to start. I might just open it. We are going to start. Excuse me, zipping. It's a bit of a mess. We're going to start building some bays in here, down there, down there. I've been collecting loads and loads of pallets. And we're going to start uh, doing that um, so we can start growing in here in the summer uh, tomatoes cucumbers I've got a grapevine that I'm hoping can go in here so yeah that's that's the plan in here I'm gonna start that today well in a bit a cup of tea first I'll just quickly turn it around to me so that that's that that's the allotment excuse the hair just got up come straight up uh, but I hope You've enjoyed this video, nice little update for you, and again, you know, as I said before, keep tuning in, subscribe, like, share, do everything like that, and uh, I will see you in the new year, I will have a great new year, and have a fantastic 2020, so from us all at DCC Kids, happy new year, goodbye.